To create a disk image, go to Disk Utility. If you can't find this in the dock, go to Launchpad, followed by Utilities, and then Disk Utility. Once it's loaded, click on New Image. Save it as something memorable, perhaps your name or your project name, so you can find the file later on. Under Name, choose your project name or type your project name, as this is how it will appear in Final Cut Pro X. Choose Custom for the size. Ensure you change it from MB to GB. And enter in the left-hand field 30, so your custom size is 30 gigabytes. The format can remain as Mac OS Extended Journaled. And encryption, this is whether or not you want a password. Either choose none for no password, or 128-bit AES encryption if you wish to have a password. For image format, choose Sparse Disk Image, as this is what we're creating. Then click Create. So here's where you enter your password. Enter something memorable, because if you forget this password, there's no way of getting it back again, and you won't be able to get back into your file. So make sure you remember your password. Wait for it to... Uh, Create the image. Once the image has been created, this will be visible in Finder. If you scroll down the left-hand column in Finder, you'll see your disk image appears here, with the name you chose in the Name field. When you finish working on your project, click Eject. And if you want to reopen your disk image, simply double-click the image file, and again you'll see it appear in the left-hand column under Devices.